Hey, welcome back to Open for Views. We've got a trusty old Pinky here today. Pinky's going to help me open a box that just came in. So let's cut it up. This is an interesting box. It's like they recycled an old box. Yeah, they did. It's a much bigger box. Now, I've been hearing a lot about this game. I've had it recommended a bunch. And so I thought I'd go ahead and grab a pre owned copy off of eBay. And I did. And it looks pretty good. Pretty good so far. So let's take a peek. Today we're going to talk about Runebound. Some nice fantasy artwork. Oh, we... I like that. Become a hero of Terranoth and defend the realm. Welcome to Terranoth. It is a land filled with great cities, powerful magic, and dangerous enemies. From the dizzying heights of Madman Pass, I thought it was Madman Press, to the hidden glades of Starfall Forest, adventure lurks around every bend of the road. In Runebound, you take on the role of a questing hero, ready to forge your own destiny. In each game, you'll search ancient ruins, fight vicious battles, and learn powerful new skills. Dangerous forces threaten Terranoth, and... Only the greatest hero can defeat them and restore peace. Will you become a living legend? Probably not. Cool, man. Yeah, I've been... Yeah, Fantasy Flight. I really like uh, uh, Warhammer Quest, the adventure card game. That's a good one. Well, let's go ahead and uh, let's take a peek inside this box. Hopefully there's nothing noxious inside of it. Ooh, oh, I'm excited. There isn't just a manual. There's two! We're going to have a fun time today. Let's see here. Take a look at the board. Oh, there's stuff everywhere. It exploded. Guess I'm using characters. Let's take a peek at... Yeah, that just busted open. Tokens everywhere. All right. Let's look at this game board. Mmm, look at that grid. We got grid, there's lots to see. Look, you like that? Lots to see, lots to do. Places to go, people to meet, monsters to slay. Dying Woods, Outlaw Glade, Wormwood, Gardens of Tarn, Moonglow Marsh. Cool. The person who sold this, it's mine. I sold that. There's a little token bag. You have to make sure everything's in here. Proof of purchase. I don't think I need that. Let's take a peek at these. Uh, I guess these are hero cards. No, no, these are like... Okay, these are the hero cards. Yeah? Yes, there we go. These five, five heroes? Six. Six. Six heroes. These are bosses, I guess. That's why I don't like buying games uh, uh, pre-owned, is I don't know that it's like all here. You know, you say you they you see the uh, the listing on eBay, played once, buy with confidence or whatever it says. We have Elder Mock, perhaps Elder Moke. 
Once a powerful leader of a western orc tribe, Mach was cast out of his ancestral home for reasons known only to a few. Poor guy. Lisa, or Lissa, is a cat girl. She's most comfortable in the wilderness, away from the falsehoods of civilization. Laurel of Bloodwood. The Latari elves of the clan Bloodwood have a reputation as deadly archers and powerful warriors. Laurel's not so big. Lord Hawthorne. Lord Hawthorne. That card's a little ripped. Oh, no, it's not. That's just the way this thing looks. I'm full of it. Lord Hawthorne of Saragart is an accomplished warrior. He has fought in many battles and defended many fo defeated defended many foes. <laughs> what a good hero. Defeated many foes. Songs have been sung of his bravery. Ooh, Bard made a tale of you. Master Thorn. Looks like a monk. Master Thorn was educated at the university in Greyhaven. But rather than set roots in the ancient city of learning, his heart drew him to the remote villages and brave people who make their homes amongst the endless wilds of Tyranoth. And then Corbin. Billy Corbin. Let me see. Corbin was once a respected member of the Dwarven Mining Guild in Burrow Town. Or as the dwarves call it, Krasagdon. It's cute. Never one to take an insult without repaying it tenfold, Corbin smashed in the face of a wanted criminal when the man failed to yield to Corbin's cart. Good guy. I think I might play as him. And then we have these two fellas. Vorakesh. The Corpse King. The Ascendants of Margath. And High Lord. I think it's probably the last guy. The boss. here these cards it's a letter how nice dragon tales children's show an old scholar was oh it's the quests quests and events very cool quest enemy dead prophet it's interesting things are mixed up Cut purse. Another dead prophet. Cool. Oh, can we play? I think we can. No, not really. I think the most of them are the same. I was going to say, if you look here, you can kind of see the differences in shades, but I think it's just flipped upside down. Ah. No, no, they are. They're very different. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Swords. Sword cards. Cross the blade to the flame. More letters. More letter cards. I'm sure there's more up here. Yes, there are. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Here's our letter card stack. Lots of things. Enemies. Necromancer, mystic, humanoid. Randomly select discarded enemy. Trigger any ability on it. Remove all of your foes' tokens. Okay. Let's see, attack. There's more of these torch cards. Whatever these are. Going in blind. That's always the most fun, though. Do a little bit of research, find out. It's like, you gotta play it. It's awesome. Oh, this game's the best. That's always fun. Oh, this game, this is one of the best games I've ever played. Then you play it, and it stinks. I'm not saying this game is going to stink. I highly doubt that. This, the game seems pretty sought after. Friends and family. Get cell phone plans in this game. Cool. Very 
invade Panic in three cities. Morgan's legacy. Dragon cave. So they have these. Whatever these are, these appears to be story quests. Gains one trophy. So it's like, I, I'm, I'm imagining these are a bunch of different draw piles. These are, ah. Here we go. This is, ah, yes. We will look through this. These are enemy cards. Uh, I love enemy cards. Great. Great. Enemies are excellent. Okay, let's kind of get everything out of the box here. I hope that's the total number of tokens, man, because there's literally, unless they like slip under here. Oh, there they are. There's a whole giant mass of tokens. Oh my goodness. And there's the dice. Holy moly, there's a ton. The box exploded. One of the bags during shipment, I imagine. Holy moly. And there's the, there's the miniatures. It's like one of the first things you'll look at. Let's see, let's check these out. Let's check these guys out. I know their names, but I'm not going to remember any of them. So let's see. Let's get Billy Corbin. Where's Billy Corbin? Let's see, there he is. Here's Billy Corbin. Little tiny fella. He's a little one. Yeah. I dropped him. Let's see. Let's see if I can get the, the thing to focus on him a little bit better. No. That's pretty cool, though. Little dwarf dude. And then we have Master Thorn with his banana staff. Right there. It's a good banana staff. Master Thorn. Lord Hawthorne. There is a Lord Hawthorne's pretty righteous. That's pretty cool. Mm, he's really blurry. He's there. Yeah. Charging forward. Da, 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 then we have Laurel of Bloodwood. Oh, the archer. And a wolf. And a dagger. Very nice. Miniatures are something I've just recently started to just absolutely fall in love with. Okay, you can go away. There we go. There was a, a, a icon on my screen for where I'm touching touching things. Uh, and then we have Lisa or Lysa. Oh, her claws. Her claws are very nice. Cool. And then we have Elder Mock, which is a nice little... An orc guy. I like that. I like it when you can play as, like, beast people and stuff. I think that's really cool. Mixes it up a little bit. Cool. There's that. Here's a good night. So this is, these are where all the tokens exploded from, I imagine. Look at all these bags. Just bags and bags and bags of tokens. Tokens. Tokens and dice. Let's look at the dice. There's dice out here. Good sound. Let's see. I've heard uh, people say that they prefer the dice. Excuse me. I've heard people say they prefer the dice in the second edition of this game a little bit more because there there's no uh, it's not stickers. It's not stickers on the dice. It's actually they, they may be molded on there, but let's give it a listen and then. Very good. They sound fine. Oh, look, I rolled two grasses and a compass. Um, I got a whole bunch in there. More tokens. I don't know what any of these tokens do. I guess I'm going to have to separate them. I guess. I might, I might have to separate these tokens. Give some monies. Smells a little bit like cigarette smoke. 
maybe some uh, smells a little like uh, so this is probably dice probably go in this one I imagine it smells like uh, like cloves or maybe incense in other words to get into it get into your game you put on load up a you know a dungeon playlist on YouTube and uh, light your your incense gonna really get into playing rune bound I hear someone's just smoking a bunch of black and miles while they're playing. I imagine it's the latter. Who's this? Oh, this is Skeletor. A Skeletor token. This is cool. I didn't know it was a Masters of the Universe game. Get your cards back. There's a lot of stuff. Oh man, this is crazy. We have these little the the little bitty cards this time too. We have these as well. One of these. Black Market. Once per turn, you may spend one to shop as if you were in any city. How nice. Oh no, these are upside down. Why would you do that? The person who sold me this knows what knows what kind of person I am. Why would you put these upside down? There we go. Items. Very cool. Ring of strength. Plus one MP. Well, I should actually have plus one heart. Wild furs. Plus two hearts. Recast all of yours and your foes' unspent tokens. Oh yeah, that's right. Like it's a token. It's like a token throwing game or something. You have to like maybe there's a bag. It's one of those. I'll have to watch a, uh, a tutorial or six. Like, usually that's what happens. I'll watch one tutorial, and I'll say, this person has no idea what they're talking about. And then I'll go watch another one, one that's, you know, maybe twice as long, and I'll watch that, and I'll be like, this person knows what they're talking about. And then I'll go back and watch that first tutorial again and go, this person was better at doing their job. Okay, let's see. Well, I guess it's time, ladies and germs. We have the rules reference, and we have the uh, learn to play. Let's read learn to play first. Because rules reference, that's mostly uh, like fine, fine tuning, you know, like the uh, what is it, the Warhammer Quest book, the rules reference book. It's fantasy flight games, you know. I'm sure everything is here. Oh my goodness, I really don't want to go through all of this right now. You feel me? But I imagine all of these are here. Assembling your dice. Put stickers on dice. Setup. Place the game board in the center of the play area. <laughs> Put it on the ceiling. Players can sit around the board in whatever order they wish. Place one advantage gem face up on each of the matching hexes on the board. Purple and social, green and exploration, orange and combat. Sort the remaining tokens by type to create the token bank. Oh, and there, yeah, okay. Choose a scenario. There were expansions for this, weren't there? Story expansions and stuff. There were more quests, weren't there? What path I shall have to go down now? Oh no. Choose a scenario. For your first game, we recommend playing The Ascendance of Margath. Show up the corresponding story deck. The cards have art of the scenario's villain on them. Oh, really? Which ones are those? Oh, yes. Yes, they do. I don't know why they'd lie. But <laughs> now that would be a rule book. Just print lies. <laughs> These have Margath, the dragon, right down here. And over here is Skeletor. I know it's not Skeletor. I'm going to get some angry comments. Actually. The Corpse King is his name, apparently. 
Or he, he might not be the corpse. His name might not be the corpse king, but he's the king of corpses. Separate the 60 non-scenario adventure cards into three decks based on their card backs. Okay, I've already done that. Shuffle in the adventure cards associated with the chosen scenarios indicated by Billy and I located in the bottom right of the card. All right. 30 cards in each deck. Randomly determine a player to become the first player. Typically what you do is you roll some dice or you play a dice game real quick, you know. Play Yahtzee. Whoever rolls a nice straight or some, uh, some pairs. Three of a kind. Shuffle the skill deck. Turn order. Players place their heroes on a shrine. I'm really excited to play this, actually. This this honestly does look like my kind of thing. Shuffle the asset deck. Place the time token. Space. Time token. You are now ready to explore. It smells like... Uh, that's what it is. It smells like uh, like Febreze. It's like a floral. That's why I was saying cloves earlier. Oh, that's what it was. I rolled two planes. Hills and forest. And a wild. Not a, uh, not a compass. Actions. Move, shop, city only. Adventure. Cost two actions. Rest. Train. Michigan level up. Uh, so my, this is gonna, yeah, this is definitely going to be my kind of jam. Moving into cities, roads, and bridges. Oh my goodness. Story quests. The Empty Throne. When King Falabir and his sons were killed in the Battle of the Ashen Field, during the First Darkness, the line of House Penacor came to its end. Cedric Dagon. Falavir's friend and advisor reluctantly accepted the crown from his peers, as he did not desire its glory or power. During his reign, Dakin, is it Dakin? Is it Dakon? Daquan? I don't know. Dakin. I'm going to say Dakin. Like Bacon. I like Bacon. Dakin insisted that no king should follow him, and he often ceded his powers and decisions to the Council of Barons. That sounds safe. It was his command that the council replace him upon his death. Mm, he didn't see that coming. The king vanished during an ambush a few years before the second darkness, and with heavy hearts the council assumed full governing power over the realm, which they now call Terranoth. Mm, that's, that's what happens. Put it in the hands of the bureaucrats. Let me see. The Free Cities, Dawnsmore, Forge, Riverwatch, Tamalir. Well, that guy's cool. I'm a skeleton! And if you defeat me, you will take this axe and this shield. And perhaps this... gauntlet that I am wearing. Because you're a thief. You're a grave robber. Bartering. If heroes are in the same hex, they are free to exchange gold or assets during either of their turns. Do not cost any actions. Or you can just, you know, slide it across the table. Not let anybody know. It's okay. There's no punishment for it. You know, but I'm a, if you really want to role play, I guess that's what you should be doing. Protective card sleeves. Delayed heroes. When a hero becomes delayed, set its hero figure on the side. A delayed hero must spend his or her next action to stand up and become undelayed. Goods. Trade value. Cool. Gains gold. Third edition game design. Lucas Litzen. Game developed. Developed Derek Fuchs and Lucas Litzen. Producer Derek Fuchs. Might be Fuchs. I certainly know it's not the other one. Inspired by Runebound 2nd edition. Mark Wallace and Daryl Hardy. Playtesters. Have fun. Board game manager. Detective Stephen Kimball! That's a, not a dated reference at all. Hasn't there been a remake of that movie with like Dolph Lundgren in it? The Ascendants of Margath. Zir the Black. Is it Zir? Zir? I hope it's not Zir. 
It's like Sir the Black. Zir the Black, Balesh, Leverax, Margath. The dragon lords and their armies struck the fair realms without warning, burning cities and toppling dynasties. It was Margath the Unkind that killed Trevnor Solstein, last in the line of the Usurper kings. It was Margoth who burned Tamalia. It was Margoth who struck an alliance with the Black Legion, tempting the baleful warrior clan of orcs to join the dragon's cause with gifts of runebound shards. But it was Baron Roland of Kel whom ended Margath's reign of terror. The well-traveled youth was an elf friend and was always on the hunt for glory and destiny. Of course he was. He found both the skies above the mountains of despair, riding Valera, one of the rare winged horses of the elves, Roland met Margath in its full fury. For hours they fought before they slew one another. Man, horse, and dragon plunged to the earth in a mortal embrace. The flame and destruction of their fall crumbling the mountainside below them. But some whisper that both dragon and baron lived, that their battle still rages beneath the mountains of despair. Many storms haunt those peaks, and the rumblings of earth beneath the mountains are taken as proof by the dread, the dragon cult, that Margath will one day rise again. He's like the Jesus of dragons. That's nice. How nice. It'd be funny if the corpse king was the baron. It'd be funny if that's a spoiler. He's like, oh, the baron lives. He's right here on the back of the manual. And the rules reference. Um, we got some symbols. Got some symbology. Iconography. Physical damage, magic damage, enemy damage, double. Town, shrine, stronghold. Yeah. Yeah, this is just like the one for Warhammer Quest. It's got the, it has the index in the back with, I, I liked that a lot. If you had, if you had just a, just a quick reference, you know, I mean, hence reference, rules reference. I mean, I'm not the one who thought of that, obviously. But it's just nice. It's nice to have that. Well, this is going to be fun. I've got, I mean, I've got, I've got cards, I've got tokens, I've got more cards, and I've got miniatures, and I have, I have more tokens in this box that fell out during shipment, and I have packing. This is going to be fun. We're going to have a good time playing it. I'll be so mad if my wife doesn't like it, but she will. I know she will. She better, right? Yeah, you're cool. Well, thank you for all who, to everyone who recommended it. It's going to be fun to finally dig into it. And, you know, I'm going to play it a couple of times before doing any streams. It's typically the way I like to do it. I don't like to kind of, you know, like with my, <laughs> like with the uh, unboxing videos where I just sit there and read a manual. I just don't like to sit there during a, a Let's Play and go, Hmm, but I'll do it here because that's what this is about. So thanks for swinging by, but as always, you know, at the beginning we were open, but hey, we're closed. Beat it.